Good morning, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. I hope you're having a blessed day. I'm coming on here because I had a dream last night. And it was so real. And it felt like I was there. Well, this started out about the safe havens that are being built by the uh, ones God chose to build. And you can t tell that God chose them because they are going to be so beautiful. So very beautiful. When times get bad, very bad, and we need places to go, those will be the places to go to. But I also dreamed about these other places that people were building to be safe for when times get bad. But they will not stand. They will not stand because God was not in the center of these places that are being built by people because they want to get away from the storm, basically the storm that's coming. And the reason why I say the ones that are not with God is because I was there in my dream. I saw them being destroyed from the inside out. These people that were screaming, they were drowning. Water was inside these buildings. And I was watching. And you could tell they were not of God. But the ones that are being built by God's chosen ones to build them, they are going to be beautiful. And full of love and God's glory. They will stand no matter what comes at it or comes against it. It will stand. But the ones that doesn't put God in the center will not stand. Will not. So please, if you don't know the Lord today and you want to be a part of being safe in a safe haven made by God with God's people that have been chosen to build these places all around this world. I pray and plead with you if you don't know the Lord, seek Him out. Ask Him into your heart. Before it is too late and their time runs out, there is still time. There is still time. So please, brothers and sisters, if you know anybody, anybody that doesn't know the Lord or has backslidden, please encourage them to come back to the Lord or seek the Lord. I hope this encourages somebody today to get to know the Lord. But the dream was so real. And it still has me shaken. Because there is going to be so many people lost. Because they are trying to do things on their own. And they can't do nothing without God. And they have to have God in the center of their life. So, I hope this encouraged somebody today. God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. And I love you all. God bless.